Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to give you a look inside of my favorite sketching materials. I know we've already done a video about what's in my pencil case and I will link to that in the description as well as up in the card if you'd like to see that video. But today I want to specifically talk about the things I go to and gravitate towards when I'm getting ready to just sit down at my desk and do some sketching. The first things I want to talk about are my favorite pencil and the pencil sharpener I use the most. I've talked about this Prismacolor Varathin pencil before, and when I was first getting into the Varathin pencils, I got these red and blue pencils, so they're red on one side and blue on the other, but quickly discovered that I really just wanted the red side, which I believe is crimson red. So I have several pencils now that have all of the red used up and pretty much none of the blue. So next time when I get more of these, I'm just going to get the red ones and stick with those. I have two sketchbooks to show you as well. The first one I want to show you is the standard Canson XL mixed media sketchbook. I use this one a lot because I like the large size, the affordable price, and the bright white paper. So this paper I can use for sketching as well as for light watercolor washes when I'm hashing out ideas. And when it comes to this particular pencil, I really like that I can get such a wide variety of line weights and variations in tone, as well as very thin lines or broader, more shading type effects. Here's a good idea of what a sketchbook page looks like that I have used this particular pencil for. It's nice because I can just kind of be really loose with things, and this pencil technically is not erasable. You can lighten it up a little bit with like a standard polymer eraser, but it's not really made to be erased, which is why I really appreciate that variety of line weight that you can get. So I can start with really light lines and darken things up as I go. The other pr pencils I want to talk to you about are the Prismacolor Coal Erase colored pencils. Now these are marketed as erasable pencils and they definitely come in second after the Varathin pencil. As you can see here, my favorite color is Vermilion. I really, really enjoy sketching in this color. So I have a big old box of them. This is what my sharpener does. It's a two-step sharpener, so the first step cuts down the wood around the lead or the color, whatever you want to call that center core of color, and the second step sharpens away that actual central core so you get a nice long sharp point to color or sketch with. The Cola erase pencils are nice because you can sketch in a color, which I really like when I'm going to paint over top of them. I like the Cola erase pencils for two primary reasons. One, the color tends to blend really well with skin tones when I paint over top of it. I really like how they look. And two, they don't smudge like a standard graphite pencil would. And that allows me, again, it helps a lot when I'm going to be painting over top of them. So I don't have to worry about that graphite smudging and smearing and muddying up my colors when I'm painting. Here are some of the other Coleraise colors that I like as well, including lavender, blue, and rose. The second sketchbook that I want to show you is actually by Arteza. Arteza sent this sketchbook to me. It comes in a pack of two, and they sent this to me when I got their gouache. I've been kind of testing this sketchbook out, and I actually really like it. I like that it's a hardcover sketchbook. This one is in size 8.5 by 11 inches, so the size of a standard sheet of copy paper, and it's actually pretty nice for sketching on. I think it's maybe a little bit heavier than standard copy paper, and it works really well for pencil sketches and maybe some light ink. I wouldn't really use this for watercolors, but I really like using it for sketching. If I'm planning to just sketch like I do in this sketchbook and I'm not really going to be putting any watercolors or paint or any kind of wet media on top, a normal mechanical pencil is also something that I really enjoy using. It's a lot of fun for getting those darker tones that you can't get as easily with the colored pencils and when I'm just planning to explore ideas and work on a sketch, that's generally what I go with. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick, short look into my favorite sketching supplies, and let me know what you like to sketch with down in the comments, and if you have tried any of these supplies yourself. I will see you guys next time, thanks so much for watching, and okay, okay, bye bye! <laughs>